personally, uh, for HR, I believe, um, let me talk about from within the organization, right? Um, I see while the topic is specifically about how HR technology is going to influence, but I think for the challenge for the HR folks is going to be how do organizations embrace technology and how when it starts impacting people, how do you take care of it, right? Just give an example is that now I think almost every person in the field today in any organization today will have a some kind of a device through which the work is getting done, right? That means it's getting measured on a real-time basis, the feedback is real-time, so that's a huge impact to the organizations. So what can HR do? You know, HR, I think, should help the organizations predict and uh, prepare for this technology to be adopted. It could have some disruption. It could have disruption in terms of uh, people, the organization structures. It could have disruption in terms of the capabilities required. How do you want to retrain? What do you want to do? And other stuff. Um, and HR should help people embrace this change of technology across the organization. Uh, that's one. Uh, for HR, personally, I believe the challenges are going to be more of what is it you should be doing in terms of being aware of what's happening around you and how do you want to adopt the technology. It is going to be there. It's going to influence. It's going to have a significant impact in the roles all of us are going to perform in the future. Happens for two reasons. One is you can't stand between that, the change, and you know, where you are today. Second, the generation which is be walking into the organization adopt the technology so much, right? You know, there are apps and they want to be empowered, they want information, they don't want to be calling HR, they, want, they don't want to be coming and asking for leave balance and they don't want to be asking about stuff. They should be able to Google um, or, you know, search uh, some kind of a place and do this. So you have to be able to uh, enable um, adoption of technology within your own function and uh, across the organization, the change management. Um, personally, um, in 10 years from now, I think you know, HR people will be doing really true core work, uh, leaving aside some of the mundane things. Um, before I hand it over, we're going to structure this whole discussion um, in terms of I have requested each of the panel members to be speaking on one specific track of human resources. Uh, I'm going to request Suresh to speak on talent acquisition. See, HR is being uh, perceived as uh, the manager of intangibles. But today, with the advent of uh, you know this technology, our HR function uh, has been uh, considered as uh, more measurable. I think that is uh, one uh, you know the positive trend or the positive change you know which we have been I think witnessing over a period of time. I think uh, now HR is being perceived as uh, uh, you know a real uh, strategic business partner in terms of building a so-called the culture of accountability within the organization, thanks to this, uh, you know, the modern technology, you know, you call it as a smack or something like that. You know, the need and relevance of technology. People used to say that in India, automation or technology means more manpower. So we should not get into that kind of, uh, you know, the dilemma. Rather, what is required is a di dilemma flipping. So, therefore, uh, the need and relevance is a uh, very, very utmost uh, you know, the critical factor which we need to consider uh, before introducing any technology. And the second governing principle in our company uh, uh, before we adopt or embrace the technology is, uh, uh, you know, the modular concept versus a scalability. Whether it is going to be a modular concept or whether it is going to be, you know, a very, very scalability concept, uh, that is going to play a very, very important role depending on, uh, you know, your business challenges and uh, requirement. And then the IT infrastructure and the internal capability to reap, as Srini said, to reap the benefit of uh, the technology. And finally, this is very, very important. You have an enterprise resource planning system in the organization ERP. How HR measurables can be dovetailed with, uh, you know, your overall enterprise database so that uh, you know the hr data becomes more authentic and credible so your capability or your ability to integrate you know the erp with uh, you know hr measurables you know that is going to be the you know the future thank you Suresh. and now i request uh, narayan rao uh, head of hr for ncc to be able to speak about and share his experience in what are the kind of technology initiatives um, he would like to uh, brief us about in terms of talent engagement framework. Engaging the talent in such remote locations uh, 
is very difficult. First of all, getting the people to work in those kind of a climatic conditions uh, is very difficult. So having acquired the talent and retaining the talent is very critical to the organization and critical to the success of those projects. So uh, these are the projects which of national importance, some of the things like uh, defense projects which, which we do in Arunachal Pradesh uh, for uh, Indian Air Force uh, advanced landing grounds. Uh, we create facilities for the aircrafts to land in those kind of a border areas of uh, India, which is bordering to China and India. So getting a talent for such projects has always been a difficult thing, but uh, then uh, reviewing them, keeping them, the project managers uh, who would be posted there would be acting as a critical factors uh, so to retain those talents. So one such thing is uh, using the handheld devices in such remote locations, uh, connecting to the corporate as well as the nearest regional offices. So the daily progress reports or the kind of a, uh, BOQs which were originally there to monitor or billing the clients or billing the subcontractors or coming to the software areas of the employees. So I feel the mix of technology as well as the human touch. The locally, the project manager will have that human touch. And also whenever the corporate or regional offices, the employees, whoever travel, they would also personally meet and have that kind of a human touch along with implementation of technology would be helpful. If we alone adopt the technology without that human angle, it would be a failure in the engineering and construction industry. And that would be my opening remarks. Really. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Narayan. Now, I'll request Deepthi to talk about, you know, talent development and one area where a lot of work has been done in terms of adoption of technology. I'm sure Deepthi will talk about her experience in Amazon. We realized that uh, HR development is very, very important. And we used to do these surveys once in a year where we used to look at those surveys and try to understand where would we like to give feedback to the leaders about what areas they, sh they should you know work upon and we realize that's redundant one year later if you're going to tell a manager this was the thing that you need to Im you had to improve a year back he would say why are you telling me now so we scrapped the whole thing about surveys that are done every year and now we do a question a day so as soon as you log in you have one question that pops onto your computer and it talks about you know, how the person is feeling with respect to his development, how does he feel whether he's been valued, how does he feel about the environment and so on and so forth. Imagine the amount of data the HR person has on his hand. So it is not just about using technology and trying to get this, it is also trying to use the technology to an advantage where you can use AI skills as well as data analytics to make sense of what are the solutions you're trying to propose. The second thing that we started doing was we realized we have a lot of people who join and it is not scalable for us to do uh, induction for each and every person and try to assimilate them, try to tell them about our culture, try to develop them and say these are the things you need to develop in order to grow. So we started doing something called as an automated launch plans where as soon as you come, depending upon which teams you join, you get an automated launch plan that these are the things that you need to cover. These are the people you need to go and cover. These are the trainings you need to cover, which is very individualized, which will help a person to know that, okay, I have to do this. And trust me, the generation today doesn't want to be told, do this, do that, do this. And last is an experiment, which is an extension of what, uh, you know, uh, Shrini talked about, is that we've also started using a little bit of AI in trying to understand what kind of hires are we going to make. And that helps us to feed in that if this is the kind of people that we are getting, what are the interventions that we need to do in order to develop them? So with that, uh, that was my opening pitch. With that, Shrini, over to you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, now I'm going to request Sarvan to talk about, Sarvan from Oracle, to talk about uh, how do you build efficiencies in HR service delivery, uh, the fundamental thing, you know, why everybody knocks our door. So uh, his own personal experiences in building the HR services delivery and what has helped and what kind of technology tools um, he has exposure to. Yep, Sarvan. Thanks, uh, glad to be part of this uh, event and uh, share my experience. Um, uh, let me make a statement that uh, 
there's so much happening in the technology front. Uh, what I know uh, may be a portion of it, but I'll make an effort to attempt to share a um, couple of examples uh, which could be of uh, uh, reference for some of us. Um, first, um, before getting into a few examples that I wanted to quote, um, the managing data, uh, managing um, uh, analytics or uh, information, uh, 10 years before in HR was a was a okay feel good function yeah, whenever you need yearly once you can go back now the trend has changed um, hr analytics and hr technology is, is 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 a key function in hr now how we say diversity and inclusion is important it is as good as um, uh, while I, we can go on comparing about other sub functions within hr but uh, technology plays a key role second context we have a digital workforce hitting us and uh, the Gen Z are all speak about um, Twitter, blogs, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, whatnot. Uh, so they communicate though they are within the organization. These are the medium and organization specific uh, LinkedIn pages or they have their own networking sites. Um, uh, that is the medium through which people speak a lot more than they speak on a face-to-face -face or an all-hands meet that they conduct. Um, that's become the way of life. And uh, there are few progressive organizations are also looking at how we can allow uh, the personal devices held by employees uh, to be uh, to be officially an announced um, to be used for all business purposes, and that's the way the industry is moving towards. A lot of predictive analytics in terms of data points about uh, how do I predict uh, a high performer, uh, how long he or she will continue, what would he look for, and how can I fulfill his career aspirations. Uh, so all these are uh, widely used. In organizations today uh, to make a difference and um, be it a small time or a, or, a, or a large scale organization staying connected with people enabling them is, is something that uh, I, I, I believe HR people have a greater role in doing it yeah thanks I think thank you um, thank you sir so one thing um, my own personal experience is that while uh, sir Vernon touched upon one important aspect of we should start using data more for decision making and there's going to be host of data because you're going to use technology it'll generate you should use that um, second thing is about the fears especially a uh, lot of fears about adoption of technology because now you start having real-time data you're monitoring stuff people will feel that i'm going to be watched 24 by 7. so you have to work on people's fears including collaboration tools right you would say if the organization wants to have its own facebook page inside you know, the first thing people will say, if somebody is going to go and post something negative about the organization, but if you don't allow that to happen, they anyhow do it in WhatsApp. So or it hardly, Glassdoor, or Glassdoor, so yeah, right, absolutely. So you got to figure out as a change agent, how do you encourage your management to be more embracing technology, right? And I think if you empower people, they'll act responsibly. If you don't trust them, they'll obviously do something at your back. This is my personal learning. Mm -hmm.